half a day, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for all your concerns, your support, your kindness, your well wishes, your thoughts, and your prayers. It is these words of encouragement that have given me the strength to battle this virus. I will tell you that the first couple of days were miserable and it was pretty scary because I did not know what the course of this virus would be. Potentially, I could have been hospitalized and in severe illness. Fortunately, the course has taken to its mildness and I am now much better and in fact have started working, teleworking as your governor and working closely with our operations response team, our executive team, our my lieutenant governor and uh, chief of staff has been in close communication with me and of course have been carrying on the bulk of the work and I'd like to thank them also. As you know, we have been seeing increased positive cases. This is this is uh, something that we had expected because we have a very robust contact tracing team. We have a very robust investigative team. And what that does is when they identify a positive, they then uh, identify close contacts of that positive and isolate them and take them out of exposure and uh, follow through with them. Additionally, our testing capacity remains good and we continue the course of working and struggling and fighting this coronavirus. I also want to let you know that we will remain in PCOR 3. We will look at what's going on in the next two weeks. What we're seeing also in positive cases is what I think has happened two weeks ago, and that is uh, traces that go back to uh, funerals and traces that go back to bars. With the restrictions of prohibiting bars and closing bars and putting more stringent requirements of funerals, we will see what that result is in the next two weeks. I am very uh, confident that we'll start seeing our numbers down. So I also would like to impress on our people, on you, that we are not out of the woods here. This disease continues to be in our community and we will fight even harder to beat this disease. And how we do that is by really practicing our mitigation efforts. We will continue to quarantine and isolate and also asking every one of you to protect your family, your loved ones, your friends, your relatives from this coronavirus by wearing your mask, social distancing, and washing your hands. Even among families, you should continue to wear your mask. I also would like to say thank you for all that you have done to make this community safe, and we will continue to make this community safe with your commitment your diligence and your love for your family and our island. Thank you and Sizu Smasi.